Hey guys, welcome to Pill Reaction, wherein we discuss about the drugs and their adverse reactions. In this episode, we'll know more about the mechanism of action of ivermectin and ivermectin induced mazoti reactions. So, without wasting much time, let's get right into it. So, to begin with, let us have a quick reference of ivermectin, also known as avermectin. The name actually indicates its function in Latin A is without and vermis is worms. Indication it is used in the treatment of onchocerciasis, strongyloidosis, and microfilariae. Moving on to the mechanism of action of ivermectin. Ivermectin is a semi-synthetic and helminthic agent which is very effective against microfilariae. If we were zoom into the microfilarial nerve where we have glutamate gated chloride channels. Ivermectin binds to the glutamate gated chloride channels which increases the permeability of cell membrane to the chloride ions leading to hyperpolarization and paralysis of worm resulting in the death or the phagocytosis of worms. So, when ivermectin is used to treat filarial parasitic infections, adverse reactions like mazoti reactions are occasionally seen. These adverse reactions occur within 7 days of the administration of ivermectin and are likely related to the intensity of filarial infection. Remember, more the intensity of filarial infection, more the release of antigen from the filarial parasite. This release of antigen from the filarial parasite is responsible for mazoti reactions. The mazoti reactions originally described by a person named mazoti in 1948 which is a complex of symptoms characterized by headache, itching, redness and flushing, chills and fever, nausea and vomiting, swollen and tender lymph nodes, tachycardia and swelling of face. Thank you for watching. If you think this video helped you gain knowledge, then please consider sharing it. Let's learn together. For more such pill reaction videos, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.